Hello friends. Today we are going to understand monopoly market structure with characteristics in detail with different examples. So let us start with meaning of monopoly. If you break up the word monopoly, you get mono which means single or solo and poly which means seller. A market structure characterized by a single seller selling a unique product in the market. In a monopoly market the seller faces no competition as he is the sole seller of goods with no close substitute. For example, De Beers is known to have a monopoly in the diamond industry. Following characteristics I have covered in my video, only a single seller is available. In a monopoly, one seller produces all of the output for a good or service. The entire market depends on a single seller. This also means that the seller has no competition and holds the entire market share of the offering that it deals in. Carnegie Steel Company obtained control over every level involved in steel production. This was the sole seller of steel which company has almost the entire steel industry in the United States. Product substitutability. One firm producing a good without close substitutes. The product is often unique. A monopoly is a structure in which a single supplier produces and sells a given product or service. A monopoly sells a good for which there is no close substitute. The absence of substitutes makes the demand for that good relatively inelastic, enabling monopolies to extract positive profits. When Apple started producing the iPad, it arguably had a monopoly over the tablet market. Price maker. The monopolist decides the price of the product since it has the market power. This makes the monopolist a price maker. Monopoly decides the price of the good or product to be sold but does so by determining the quantity in order to demand the price desired by the firm. Monopolies date all the way back to the ancient world. In this case, the Tang dynasty in China created in 758, the Salt Industry Commission was organized to sell salt to private merchants and effectively raised tax revenue from the state monopoly of the salt trade. This practice of a salt tax and government monopoly on salt endured until the mid-20th century. So here, Salt Industry Commission has power to decide the price of the salt. Competition or no substitute. There are no close competitors in the market for that product. A monopoly involves a single seller. It has no close substitute product because of which monopolies don't have to face competition in the market. Unlike many companies on this list, Luxotica may not be a household name, but the companies it supplies certainly are. This Italian company makes glasses and frames for high fashion brands such as Prada, Chanel, Dolce & Gabbana, Versace, Burberry, Ralph Lauren, Tiffany, Ray-Ban and many others. Ultimately, Luxotica controls 80% of major brands in the eyeglass industry and it is estimated that about half a billion people around the world are wearing their products. Profit Maximizer In a monopolistic market, the company maximizes profits. It can set prices higher than they would have been in a competitive market and earn higher profits. Due to the absence of competition, the prices set by the monopoly will be the market price. The Walt Disney Company is one of the largest mass media and entertainment conglomerates in the world and has acquired huge amount of assets, companies and corporations, both national and international. So whatever price it will demand, its customers are ready to pay. And the Walt Disney Company can maximize its profit by setting higher prices. Economy of Scale the economy of scale works in the economy very much like a scale in measuring weights. It is believed that the larger an industry grows, the lower its products are supposed to cost. The more a firm manufactures its product in the fastest time possible, the lower the price of that product is supposed to go. Since there is a single seller in the market, it leads to economies of scale because of large-scale production, which lowers the cost per unit for the seller.
If a firm that manufactures product X makes about 50,000 of it in a month and at this rate they cost about $5 each. At this stage other companies can enter that market and stand a chance of competing with this firm. But if this company finds better ways of making X and makes about 1 million in a month then their prices can go down as low as $2 per product. This will eliminate one and all competitions. Price discrimination. A monopolist can change the price or quantity of the product. They sell higher quantities at a lower price in a very elastic market and sell lower quantities at a higher price in a less elastic market. An example of a discriminatory monopoly is an airline monopoly. Airlines frequently sell various seats at various prices based on demand. When a new flight is scheduled, airlines tend to lower the price of tickets to raise demand. Reasons for the existence of monopoly market Monopolies arise in the market due to the following three reasons. 1. The firm owns a key resource, for example, De Beers and Diamonds. 2. The firm receives exclusive rights by the government to produce a particular product, like patent on new drugs, the copyright for books or software, etc. 3. One producer can be more efficient than others due to the cost of production. This gives rise to increasing returns on sale. Few examples are American Electric Power, Columbia Gas. So friends, these are the points covered in my video. Thanks for watching my video.